Welcome everybody to the Talk From The Top Show. My name's Alex and I will be your host. And today's guest is the owner of the restaurants, the Cinnamon Club and Roast and the Tandoori Magazine. It's Mr. Iqbal Wahab. Hi Iqbal, how are you? I'm very well, Alex. How are you? Good. Yeah, uh, I'm fine. Um, so my first question, Iqbal, is seeing as the restaurants have um, been closed for the past four months, what, what have you been doing now? Have you been on a mini holiday? Um, well, um, luckily, I, I've, I've sold out of both Cinnamon Club and Roast, um, so um, I'm blissfully unencumbered by problems of uh, returning today. Um, I was planning on opening some new fit spaces. This backdrop um, that you've, you, know, you can see me on uh, is one of the restaurants I was planning to take over. I'm going to do some uh, new style neighbourhood restaurants. Um, but um, the, the mini holiday, which... Um, existing restaurateurs facing and um and returning from today uh, it's going to be um uh, a rough ride for them and i'm glad i'm not there I published an article this morning saying that um uh restaurants um, uh, when they reopen now uh, they, they've got an opportunity to reopen in a different way where they're going to have the chance to recalibrate to rebuild um uh, the way in which their businesses are run um, because quite often um, people work incredibly long hours in, in this business um, and a lot of chefs end up suffering from mental health issues. Um, the, the pay isn't necessarily that great. Not many restaurants pay London living wage, for example, but they pay their investors massive returns on the money they put in. Um, these things need to change. Are you excited because uh, today's the 4th of July, which means that the restaurants are reopening? Um, I, I, I'm excited that um, restaurants are going to have a chance to earn um, again. Um, I'm, I'm glad it's, it's, um, it's, it's turning out to be a rainy day today because um, the prospect of people queuing up for pubs at 6 in the morning uh, was, was slightly scary. You launched the uh, Tandoori magazine and the Cinnamon Club and Roast, but what inspired you to become a food entrepreneur? Um, I, I never actually wanted to be a food entrepreneur. I, 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 it, it all happened by mistake. I, I, I left university determined to be a journalist. Um, and uh, I went to join the Independent. In 1991, uh, I set up a, a public relations company, uh, which had a wide variety of clients. Um, uh, but the, uh, the food and drink clients we had um, uh, turned out to be the most interesting ones. And, um, I, I set up the Cinnamon Club, which was um, at the time uh, the biggest Indian restaurant in London. Uh, it became the, most, um, the highest grossing Indian restaurant um, in the country. Um, and it did things in a very different way. Um, we, we, we designed the food in a different way. I converted an old public library in Westminster to do it, so it had a grand setting. Um, and I lifted the, the glass ceiling that people talk about um, and which certainly exists in Indian restaurants, and that people who own Indian restaurants tend to think that their customers only want a certain amount of innovation from them. Uh, and I threw that rule book out. Sales rocketed, it, it virtually doubled overnight, just from unconventional thinking. And that's the power of like, not having the shackles of having come through the ranks of the restaurant world. Because if I had, I wouldn't have, I'd, I'd never have done that. So the, there are benefits in having. Um, uh, found your way into an industry by mistake, if you like, or by default. So, um, and, um, and and that that was you know, one of the linchpins of what made the Cinnamon Club uh, the success that it was and still still is. You received an, uh, an OBE, which, for the record, is a great achievement. But uh, well, what was it for, and uh, who gave it to you? Um, well, I, it was um, I got it for two uh, separate um, strands. One was for services to the hospitality sector. And the other was public service. Presented to me by the Prince of Wales, uh, which I was slightly disappointed by because um, I already knew him. I, 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 I sat on a couple of his boards uh, of his charities, so I, I used to go and visit him regularly. And um, uh, I've never yet met the Queen, even though I've just spent a year being High Sheriff of Greater London, uh, which uh, where I'm the Queen's representative over the criminal and legal justice system. And even through that, and going to garden parties, I still haven't met the Queen. But <laughs> one day I will. Yeah. So, um, so what do you look for when you're hiring young people for your business? I mean, the, the, the most important thing that um, we look for is um, enthusiasm. 
um, and being prepared. You'd, you'd be amazed by how many people come for job interviews not knowing uh, what the restaurant is. Um, you'd be amazed how many people turn up late or just don't turn up at all. Um, the amount of people who can't look you in the eye, can't, can't conduct proper interviews. It's um, something that schools, I don't know how it is in your school, but certainly in my days there was no preparing for job interviews. Um, um, and uh, But when, when, when you do find someone who's got a spark inside them, you, you, uh, you, 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 you cling on to it. I remember once there was um, uh, a young woman came to us for a job and, um, and speaking to one of the managers who told me about it afterwards. And she said, look, I've never worked in a restaurant, but I think I'll be really good at it. And um, this manager just thought, oh, that's fantastic. And gave, gave her a job. And she started as a runner, became a waitress, became a head waitress. And eventually she wore a suit because she'd become a manager. Um, and you know, that, that's what happens when you spot enthusiasm. If schools encouraged um, preparedness, like you know, how to turn up to an interview, how to conduct an interview, what research to do, that's one thing, but the thing inside the young person itself has to be there, and that is um, a genuine desire to do um, something. One of the things I used to do at Roast was invite people of your age from local schools to come um, visit us, come uh, see what it's like, so that from an early stage in your own planning, um, you could think about this as a proper career. Uh, what, what would you say to young people out there at the moment looking to start their own business? Well, I mean, because there's going to be fewer jobs around for the next few months at least, uh, it's tempting to start thinking about freelancing or set up, a, uh, set up your own business. Generally, outside of this um, current environment, um, I've always suggested to young people that before setting up your own business, um, find a company that does something similar to you, try and get a job in there, and um, learn the things that you would otherwise learn at your own mistakes, at your own expense if you set up on your own. If, um, if you go into YouTube and put my name on the Cinnamon Club, and you'll see a, a BBC documentary that was made. Um, and it was like a fly on the wall documentary. They filmed me for about a year on me trying to set that restaurant up. And um, because I'd never done it before, and I did a huge number of mistakes, which were extremely costly. And if, if I'd actually um, bothered to ask or well, worked in another place, I'd, uh, I maybe wouldn't have done so. Try and learn as much as you can from somebody else before doing it yourself. Um, but uh, if, if you really believe in yourself and you believe in the product you're going to do, uh, you'll make it work even if you get knockbacks, um, which um, you will. When, when you do start a business, it's really important that you get some good mentoring advice. So I'm, when some people have been there, done that, who can help you not make the same mistakes that people like I did, um, so that you, you, you're more than uh, more likely to uh, get off to a good start with it. Who has been uh, the most famous person uh, in your restaurants? Um, well, because the Cinnamon Club is in Westminster, just by Parliament, every single Prime Minister since 2001, when it opened, has been in there. But uh, we've also had people like Piers Brosnan's been in there. We've had um, Destiny's Child in there in Roast. The Prince of Wales came and visited us when we first opened. Um, and um, Patrick Stewart from Star Wars is a regular. Uh, we've, we've, yeah, we have all sorts. David Schwimmer from Friends. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mick. Well, it's, uh, it's been really inspiring. Um, yeah, just uh, thank, thank you very much for giving me a My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me.